Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. I hope you are doing fine at your home and you are enjoying your good health. This is Arush Fatima, your teacher from American Lyceum International School. Uh, today we are going to uh, start our lesson of English, Oxford English Book 3 student book. So open your student book, page number 170 to 173 of the same chapter that we did last time. So we are definitely going to continue from where we left last time. Hum wahi se start karenge jaan se humne last lecture mein chhoda tha. Page number 172, 173. My journey with Captain Magellan. So let's start our lecture. Let's get into it without wasting the time. So uh, this is our diary for today. So I thought let's uh, share the diary with you. This is our diary. And uh, our main topic is the preposition of location. Or preposition of movement I thought before we going into the book work I should discuss a little bit about the main topic that we are going to read in the book so is there many socha ke book me exercise karne se better hai, I should discuss the topic with you ja aapke saath topic discuss karna chahiye. so preposition of location is our topic preposition of movement basically we can also call it Preposition hoti kya? What is preposition when we want to indicate, when we want to point out something ki koon se jis kahaan padhi bhi hai? Thik hai? Toh hum preposition use karte hai. Thik hai? Time batana ho, hum preposition use karte hai. Hum location batani ho, movement batani ho, we use the preposition. Okay? For example, Urdu mein hum kehte hai ki ball jo hai, wo table ke niche ball padha ho hai. Thik hai? I, main location bata rahi ho na. I am telling you the location of the ball where exactly it is. Because if there are two, three balls, I want to indicate the specific ball. Like pick up this one ball. So I will tell the location of it. Ke wo niche padha ho hai. Jo, jo hai na table ke niche wala ball. Wo likhi ho. I want that. Wo jo cupboard ke paas wala ball hai na. Wo ni mujhe chahi. I want the ball that are under the table. So ye jo under word hai. इसके अंदर जो नीचे वर्ड यूज हुआ है उर्दू में वो इंग्लिश में वी कॉल इट अ प्रेपोजिशन जो हम ये वर्ड्स यूज करते हैं द वर्ड्स दैट वी यूज टू इंडिकेट द लोकेशन द टाइम पीरियड और द मूवमेंट वी यू कॉल देम प्रेपोजिशंस ओके सो प्रेपोजिशन ऑफ लोकेशन प्रेपोजिशन ऑफ मूवमेंट एंड मूवमेंट सो लेट्स गेट इनटू इट प्रेपोजिशन ऑफ मूवमेंट प्रेपोजिशंस ऑफ मूवमेंट शो मूवमेंट फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस ओके when one person is going to another person, one thing is going to the, another thing, one animal is going to another place. So we will use the preposition of movement. Okay? These prepositions always describe movements. Movements will describe ESI prepositions. And we usually use them with words of motion. Hum motion words of motion ke saath use karenge means... Um, Action words ke saath, uh, use karenge jo uh, movement batati verbs there are certain words verbs as well ek verb jo bas aap baith ke soch rahe ho but there is one verb that you are so there are one verb that you uh, there are some words that you use to indicate or to show the action so for example uh, sh uh, the girl is jumping okay so this is an action this is a motion so this is basically the words of motion ये words of motion होती हैं, okay? So let's start. Uh, the most common preposition of movement is the preposition to. To सबसे common preposition of movement है जो कि location या movement को indicate करती है, which describes movement in the direction of something. For example, how do you go to work? तो काम पर कैसे जाते हो? Go to work, so it's telling about the location. The movement like you are at home and you are moving towards the work your work so that means it's the preposition of movement <clears throat> he drove to london in five hours london london so to london means movement bata rahi hai ki wo is jagah se us jagah travel kiya usne movement hui hai nobody came to the party koi bhi party mein nahi aaya nobody came to the party so here the two is the most common preposition that is used for the direction okay the most common preposition of movement is the preposition two which describes movement in the direction of something okay let's move ahead so what is it this is a mouse that is getting out of the box box so it's showing us the movement okay so what would i say the mouse is getting out of the box. So out is also a preposition, everyone. So let's go through this picture. Let me see the, you know, time as well. 
because I don't want to make so long videos so you get fed up or you don't sometimes people don't have time to watch long videos so I wrap up fast prepositions of movement into the box so he's going into the box you can see the arrow that is inside the box so that means the mouse is gonna go inside the box so mouse have a box ke under jane wala so what we will say into the box box ke under hai. out of the box box se bahir aa raha around the box agar wo yahan se yahan par movement karegi na yahan se ghoom kar aayegi sorry yahan se ghoom kar aayegi agar ye cat so what we'll say the cat is moving around the box jo cat hai wo box ke round move kar rahi hai okay okay the bird is away from the box dekhiye ab ye bird yahan par hai box yahan par hai ye dur hai box se dur hai so we'll say the bird is away from the box is flying away from the box ura do ja kar toward the box something these birds are coming towards the box means ye box ki taraf aa rahe hain so we'll say that toward the box okay so this is going to cross the box so we will say past the box the bird is going to uh fly past the box onto the box when he is going to jump over here then onto the box off the box okay ye ab yahan par aap soch rahe honge ki ye to upar nahi baitha hua why we are saying that onto the box upar hai ye because this arrow is showing us that there is going to be the movement by frog from this position to this position okay from this position to this position मूवमेंट होने लगी है यहाँ से यहाँ पर वो यहाँ से मूव करके यहाँ आने वाला है सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द प्रपोजिशंस ऑफ मूवमेंट दैट आर ऑन ऑफ थ्रू अंडर एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ऑन टू द बॉक्स ऑफ द बॉक्स यहाँ से उतरने वाला है सो ऑफ द बॉक्स इस तरह मूव ऑफ द बॉक्स ओवर द बॉक्स यहाँ से अब ओवर यानी यहाँ से ऐसे जाने वाला है वो यू कैन सी द लोकेशन सो विल से ओवर द बॉक्स इज ओवर द बॉक्स under the wall so this is under the wall if this worm is under the wall then we'll say it's under the wall through the pipe he's going through the pipe if he's going to move through the pipe wo pipe ke andar se jaane wala hai so we'll say he's going he's moving through the pipe across the bridge he is going across the bridge bridge ke paas se guzar ke ja raha hai cross karke ja raha hai so we'll say that he's moving across the bridge up the stairs ab aap upar stairs चढ़ेंगे तो क्या होगा अप टू अप द स्टेयर्स इज गोइंग अप द स्टेयर्स ओके डाउन द स्टेयर्स इज गोइंग डाउन द स्टेयर्स वो नीचे आ रहे और वी समाइम से इज शी इज गोइंग डाउन स्टेयर्स बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज द प्रपोजिशन दैन विल से शी इज शी इज गोइंग डाउन द स्टेयर्स ओके सो दैट वॉज योर टॉपिक नंबर वन दैट वी विल डू इन योर बुक ओके जो हम बुक के अंदर करेंगे ये टॉपिक नंबर वन था प्रपोजिशन ऑफ मूवमेंट नाउ विल गो ऑनवर्ड्स uh to read out maps because we are also reading some literature so that's why we should get some information as well so we were reading about maps traveling so i thought let's see our the world map how it looks like dekhte hain so this is a continent which we call australia this is asia we call it asia this whole part we call asia this is middle east This part is Middle East. This part is Middle East. This is Europe. You see, Europe is so small, but still so developed. This is Africa. This is South America. This is North America. And this country is United States. Okay, कुछ लोग समझते हैं North America, South America means this is the whole America. No, this uh, North and South America are the continents, but United States of America is a country. Okay. so you can see there are other small islands as well small countries as well lot of countries lot of islands and this is the ocean this is north atlantic ocean south atlantic ocean indian ocean arabian sea this this is we have arabian sea and uh, north pacific ocean so etc etc where is pakistan everyone find out where is pakistan pakistan ka can you see pakistan in the map like we can see russia because it's too big bahut bada hai that's why we can see it we can see it sorry we can see russia we can see china we can see kazakhstan we can see india we can see iran we can see australia we can see brazil united states canada and what we can see what is it i can't read out 
Algeria, Libya, Sudan, South Africa, so there are a lot of Iran, so where is Pakistan? This is Pakistan, everyone. Ye Pakistan. This is your country. This is where we are living right now, where we are. This is Pakistan. Small, but still our country. So we all love our country. Whether it's small, whether it's underdeveloped, whether it's still developing, whether it's poor country, whether whatever the problems are, we still will love our country because it's gave us freedom. That's why we love only our country. Okay, everyone, tell me one thing. If we want to go, if I am in Australia, I'm in Australia, if I want to go to Europe, where we, where I will go? If I want to go to Europe, United Kingdom, where I'll go? From where I'll go? This is Australia. Definitely, I'm going to take a flight from Australia to like this. I'm going to take flight to Australia to United Kingdom. Then if I want to return Australia, I will go like this. Okay. From this is Pakistan. I want to go to USA. So I'll go like this. Same thing is happening with the story, the my journey with Captain Magellan. This is uh we read about yeah, they were in Spain. They were in Spain, they were in northern Europe, they were in Spain and they move ahead to Africa to they pass the Pacific Ocean and etc etc as we read in the story ab yahan par dekhiye this is europe ab yahan se unko jana hai america gaye phir and pe guam par wo gaye and then they return again so everyone if uh, this is europe and i want to go by sea okay then i will go like this i will board like this okay i will come like this I will come like this and then this this I will go like this and this is Austria and this is Africa I will come to Africa and then I will return back okay yeah uh, I will come from the side of the ocean main ocean se aaungi theek hai samundar se hoti hui aaungi if I am um, sailing okay and I'm traveling by sea so I'll I will go like this uh if I'm flying so I will go like this I will go like this okay So now time to move to our book work. Okay, let me see the time. It's twelve minutes. Okay, what do you, what did you learn from Juan's journal? What was the most important, interesting part of Juan's journey? Uh, I thought I think that uh, the things that were interesting was how they were discovering the new islands. They were going to the new places. That was interesting. But how they faced a lot of difficulties. That was the toughest part. Part. For example, storm came and uh, uh, there were no, there was no air to fill the sails, so they couldn't sail as well. So that was some of the difficulties that Wands uh, faced in there, in his journey. So this is the map. Okay, this is the map. This is the map. This is the map that we read last time. So we are going to give it a, a numbering. Okay, this is number one. Number one, we are going. Here from here, Juan sailed across the Atlantic Ocean from Spain to South America. This is one. Okay, from Spain to South America, they were moving ahead from here. This is Spain. Uh, this is Spain. So they were moving from Spain to. They were moving to Spain from uh, from Spain to South uh, America. Okay, across the Pacific Ocean from South America to Guam. Okay. This is number one. Juan sailed across the Atlantic Ocean from Spain to South America. Spain to South America, wo gaya. Number second, Juan sailed around the coast of Africa to Spain. Juan sailed across around the coast of Africa to Spain. Okay. This is number five. Okay. Number one is this. Juan sailed across the Atlantic Ocean from Spain to South America. Okay. Number two, Juan sailed down the coast of South America. यहाँ से कॉस्ट ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका से यहाँ आया दिस इज साउथ अमेरिका ना सो ही केम फ्रॉम स्पेन दिस इज यूरोप दिस इज यूरोप एवरी वन दिस इज यूरोप दिस इज एशिया दिस इज मिडल ईस्ट दिस इज अफ्रीका दिस इज ऑस्ट्रेलिया दिस इज ऑस्ट्रेलिया दिस इज साउथ अमेरिका दिस इज नॉर्थ अमेरिका सो हियर इन यूरोप देर वॉज स्पेन सो ही मूव फ्रॉम स्पेन एंड केम टू केम टू वेयर टू साउथ अमेरिका साउथ अमेरिका आया साउथ अमेरिका से वो कहाँ गए हैं दे मूव्ड फ्रॉम साउथ अमेरिका टू द कोस्ट ऑफ अफ्रीका जस्ट 
या दे मूव डाउन द कॉस्ट ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका वो नीचे कॉस्ट ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका से नीचे आया नेक्स्ट सेल थ्रू द स्ट्रेट ऑफ मिजेलिन टू द पैसिफिक ओशन वो यहाँ से नैरो वे से यहाँ से गए हैं टू द पैसिफिक ओशन ओके नंबर फोर वन सेल अक्रॉस द पैसिफिक ओशन फ्रॉम साउथ अमेरिका टू गवाम अब वो साउथ अमेरिका से गुआम गए हैं यहाँ से वो साउथ दिस इज द पैसिफिक ओशन सो वो यहाँ से गुआम गए हैं एंड देन फाइव वन सेल अराउंड द कोस्ट ऑफ अफ्रीका टू स्पेन वो यहाँ से जाते हुए अफ्रीका दिस इज अफ्रीका द कैम फ्रॉम द केम फ्रॉम अफ्रीका एंड द कैम बैक टू स्पेन ओके दिस वॉज आवर वर्क ओ माई गॉम सो टायर स्पीकिंग अ लॉट ओके वर्ड्स इन कॉन्टेक्स मैच ईच सेंटेंस विद वर्ड दिस इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ सिक सिक का ऑपोजिट क्या होता है वट इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ सिक हेल्दी ऑपोजिट ऑफ सिक इज हेल्दी इट हैज़ अ बिगिनिंग एंड एन एंड एंड इट कैन बी शॉर्ट और लॉन्ग बिगिनिंग है एंड है और लॉन्ग और शॉर्ट भी हो सकता है जर्नी इट्स अ जर्नी यू ऑलवेज नीड विंट टू डू दिस सेल्स सेल्स यू विल मैच थ्री विद डी ओके यू ऑलवेज नीड विंट टू डू दिस टू डू सेल शिप सेल थ्रू दिस फ्रॉम वन ओशन टू अनदर straight okay so this match it with this number 4 with a number 3 with d okay so sail needs the wind and straight can be uh, can take you from one ocean to another okay so let's move ahead so listen and read along how do i get to the pizza palace i'm hungry so this is what he's saying uh yeah how do i get to the pizza palace i'm hungry that's easy you walk down the street through the park and around the pond that isn't easy harry this is easy wo keh rahi hai ye itna easy nahi hai but this is easy hello pizza palace can you deliver a cheese pizza to us to my school okay ab wo keh rahe hain ki ye easy nahi hai ki main jaun so i will deliver i will order it so read the sentence circle the word that tell where to go okay so we'll read the sentence and we'll get to know where we go walk down the street kahan se jayenge walk down the street through the park and around the pond so down through around is telling us the location from where we have to go okay so it's telling us the location so this is basically the preposition of location of preposition of movement we can say okay preposition of movement use prepositions of movement to give directions go up to the deck and check the sails so ye jo sentence aaya tha chapter mein it was telling us it was teaching us the preposition of movement okay we sailed down the coast of south of africa so we sailed down the coast of south africa down means hum log ja rahe hain south africa ki taraf so it's also telling us the movement so it's preposition of movement so these are some of the preposition of movements i also discussed the preposition of movements with you so we are going to do a small exercise and then i'll be signing off okay how does one how does one get to the deck number the actions tell your partner okay we'll number it okay number 1 this is number 1 out of bed so he is getting out of bed so this is number 1 out of bed number 2 this is number 2 he is going into the kitchen this is the kitchen so he is going into the kitchen okay number 3 this is number 3 he is coming down the stairs wo niche aa raha hai so it's 3 number 4 this is number 4 he is going through the box wo box ke andar se ja raha hai so he is going through the box and he is going to up the ladder so he is going up the ladder number 5 up the ladder number 6 is around the pole wo yahan se around gol sa ghoom kar around ho kar wo ja raha hai is going around the pole and number 6 was this that was all everyone i hope you have understood you have enjoyed and it wasn't so boring for you but i know i talk a lot and i'm so tired of talking my god itna kabhi nahi main boli jitna bol rahi hu but this is for your lecture i had to do it so everyone stay tuned i'll post your next lecture next time so allah hafiz bye bye
don't follow don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share this video also okay bye